Hey guys, this is Barkat here. So today I am going to show you how to track phone call conversion in Google Ads so that you don't miss any types of phone call conversion in Google Ads. So basically, it's very important when you run a Google Ads for your client or for yourself to track conversions properly. So today I am going to show you each and every step how you can track all phone calls in Google Ads. So let's get started. <laughs> So first thing first, you just need to log in your Google Ads account. Once you are in Google Ads account, you just need to click on the tools and settings and go to the conversions. Once you are in the conversion tab, you will see there are some conversion actions for myself. But you know, for yourself, I believe it will be the first time on your conversions action setup. So I would probably say you, you will see nothing from your end but don't worry i will explain all of these things how to set up properly first thing first you just need to click on the conversion actions and you will see there are lots of you know variables or you know website app phone call import but today i will cover only the phone calls so that you can track every calls from your ad or from your ad extensions or from your websites so whatever so click on these and you will see there are three options i will cover all of these things today so first thing first this is calls from ad using call extensions and call only ads so if you don't know what is call extensions and call only ad you can see on my screen here is i will add a screenshots one is call extension and one is call only ad and if you want to set up the call extensions or call only ads tracking so just click on this and hit continue and you will see these types of things i would probably say test call extensions something like this it depends on you how you rename your conversion actions and here you can see goal and optimizations i always add phone calls just leave it as, as, as it is and on the value part sometimes you can add value or sometimes you don't but i mostly prefer i don't use value because i use a crm to track everything you know the sales value put value everything so that's why i don't add any value on here so here is the most crucial part you can count every one or maybe count one so let me explain why so every that means you know for one for, for example someone calls on your number and last for maybe one minute and they just talk with you about your services or something like this or maybe pricings and after one hour or maybe after a couple of days they they call again on your same number so it will count double so these types of things i would probably say and i highly recommend to use one don't use every but unless you are you know running ads for e-commerce yeah that's fine but so for all types of lead generation campaign i would mostly prefer one select as once whether it's 10 second calls or whether it's you know 15 second calls or whether it's you know 30 second calls it doesn't matter actually i really want to see from which keywords is driving calls so this is the thing and you can leave as it is just hit and create and continue and it's created done then you just need to go to your google ads account for example for this campaign i want to add the google ad extensions and then hit assets and under assets you will see call hit on the call button and you need to press plus button then you can see these types of things you can add call extensions conversion actions on the account level on the campaign level or whether maybe you can add on the ad group level i want to add on the campaign level just hit on the campaign and create one for example let me fetch the phone number from their websites for example this is my client's website i want to track these phone calls and based on here try to follow this structure this is google recommended and here is the thing so conversion actions just click on here and see we created this one test call extension just hit on this and then save that's it so first one is done i mean call extension is done so if you want to track your call phone call conversion using call only ad the same procedure just follow the same procedure you know add this on the call only ads that's it and let's deep dive on the second one calls to a phone number on a website so for this one i will use gtm so make sure that you set up gtm correctly if you don't know how to set up correctly i do have one more video so i will try to link the video on my video description so that you can find how to set up gtm easily so to set up the phone calls tracking on your website so just click on here and hit continue and same thing you can leave it as it is and as a conversion name i will probably say test phone call from google ads and same thing and of course i will just hit on here one so here's the thing you can see destination number so you just need to select the country first then as a phone number as a, on this here you can you just need to put your client's phone destination number that means where they want to receive their call so i will probably do this 
uh, let me copy these and just paste it here and this is the display number as well that means you know i am showing these or maybe you know adding these number on the landing page so it depends on if you're using different number on the landing page as a tracking number or whatever you just need to add your landing page number that means which number you are displaying to the people that's it just here and call length is total depends on you you may use 10 you may use one second whatever but i mostly use 10 second and leave all leave this two part as it is and hit and continue so you can see there are three options you can use to set up this conversions tag on your website first is you know tag installer so you will they will put you some course snippet and this is the email tag you can send these you know instructions to your developer if you have or you will use this google tag manager so today's video as i mentioned before i will use this google tag manager but it's pretty easy to set up so for example if if i want to you know track this phone number from this website so i just need to make sure that my website on my website or on my landing page i put the google gtm code so let me double check i am using a plugin it called you know google tag you know assistant legacy so you can see it's properly set up mz this one that means if i show you this is the gtm for this website basically it's the landing page i am using it's a high level landing page i am using so you can see this is the gtm code gtm mz 8x ldq5 and it's set up properly yeah it's set up properly you can see if it's set up properly then you just need to go to your tag manager you know dashboard and you will see tag and triggers so once you landed on your tag manager you just need to see tags and hit create or maybe new and i will use a name here so what i typically do i always try to use the same name on the google ad conversion action tab to track easily so that i can track easily it totally depends on you and your client so then hit on the track on regression hit on hit on here click on google ads and you will see there are lots of things but today i will use this one google ad google ads call from website conversion hit on here and you can see displayed number phone number to replace same number i will use because i don't have any tracking number for this client so i will use this number uh, here is the number and uh, then conversion id and conversion level i need so here you can see conversion id this is the conversion id copy and paste here and conversion level this is the conversion level copy and paste here so for triggering part if you want to track from all pages you will you will add this all pages here or if you don't or if you have any specific pages or maybe you want to track from a specific page so you just need to remove it here and hit and you can hit on button then you can any specific page something like this hit on here page view i will use some page views profile you can use anything but i will use page url and it should be maybe path contents or equals whatever suits you best and then if i want to track from this page i will just put it here copy and paste something like this it so it's and just hit save but for this client because we are just using a landing page on high level so you can see this is the simple funnel one landing page one thank you page i want to track the phone call conversion from whole website actually thank you page and you know someone's calls from thank you page i want to track this as well so yeah it's pretty easy i just need to add on all pages then add then hit save that's it to make sure that you are doing these things correctly copy the url and go to the google tag managers and hit on the preview button here one pop-up will open see and i just put the you know url i copied i mean this landing page url and hit connect and you can see this is the new tag we set up and this tag fired properly that means our call conversion is working you know and it will track the conversions i believe but to double check you can do what hashtag and google wcc hashtag and hyphen and you can see debug hit enter and see one you will see these types of pop-up will appear and just you know i will just put on heat force and see this number will be replaced 999 that means this conversion tag is working you know google will automatically replace this number 999 something like this to make sure that this tag is working so yeah you are good to go that means these all are tracking properly so all set and i will hit next 
you are good to go so make sure that you use this two conversion action on the campaign level to track your conversions easily and properly and so here is one more thing one when you click on this phone calls and here you can see there is the third one click on your number on your mobile websites you know so if you want to track your click for example on the landing page if i show you that means if someone clicks on this number if you want to track how many people click on this numbers you can also track using these you know conversion action just hit on here and continue and you will see just you know add the conversion name don't use value a1 and ready and just create so I will say test conversions click and you on the value you you just leave it don't use value count one and thirty day great and continue same thing set up the tag I will use this one Google tag managers Google conversion ID and Google conversion level you got it and once you are on the Google tag manager just hit on the new and I will use the same thing on here Google conversions clicks and here I will add Google ad google ad conversions tracking yeah here you need to add your conversion id so here you can see conversion id and conversion level just copy and paste conversion level you don't need to do anything here and on the triggering product so i would need you need to add a new trigger i would say phone call link clicks hit on save and I will use this one just link so when you are on this screen so you can see when you click on on when you click on here you can see page host name page path page URL but I will add a new built-in variable hit on here and you will see click URL just add this click URL and click URL contains it should be tail that means every phone numbers URL is tail if I show you one more time so you can see when I hover my mouse here on the left hand side you can see tail colon the phone number so if I show you one more time copy the phone link address and you can see tail colon your phone number something like this so, so I would just probably add tail hit save then go back to test this hit on the preview button and add your landing page URL and hit connect and it's connected you can see before clicking any types of button here you can see this test conversion click this tag is not fired that means once i clicked on here double click and see yeah see why once i click on this button or maybe any phone number button on this website this tag will fire see tag fired and test conversions click so that's it you don't need to do anything and once you check all of these things you just need to submit you can add a descriptive name or maybe you know any types of versions let's say you know added all phone call conversions something like this phone call conversions and hit publish that's it you are good to go and you can see these three phone calls i conversion actions i just set up for my client so this is the easiest way to set up all of these things you can ignore this status inactive because once you add it on these three conversion actions on your campaign level you you can see it will record a starting conversion so don't worry about this so i would suggest you don't use this you can use this on the conversions tab but don't use this on the campaign level that's it from my end so if you like this video feel free to subscribe my channels and like this video and share this video with your friend who are struggling with you know conversion tracking setups for phone calls in google ads so yeah that's it have a great day bye bye